Good morning or good afternoon everyone, whenever or wherever you're watching this video. Thank you for subscribing and taking time out of your busy schedule to watch today's video. I hope everyone's having the best day of their life or the best week of their life. If you found value in today's video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Most of my videos are usually about investing, health, and life. Today's video has got a couple of steps about when you're trying to purchase a home, in case you don't know and you haven't purchased your home yet or if you're looking to purchase a home, then this video is for you. Leave a comment below with what your favorite step is when you're buying a house. Most likely it'll be the closing because after you close, you're ready to move in. Let's try to hit 7,000 subscribers in seven months. And keep in mind, this video is going to be very short and quick. I just want to get to the points. With all that out of the way, let's get into today's video. So here's your to-do list for your first time home buyers. First, you want to save for your down payment, closing costs, and escrow for insurance and taxes. Here's a few steps to follow when you're buying a house. One, check your credit score. Two, you want to make sure your credit score is good. So if you need to improve your credit score, make sure you improve it. Stay current on your bills. No major purchases. Don't cancel any credit cards. Higher credit score equals lower interest rate. Number three, you want to calculate what you can afford. You can go to this website right here, bankrate.com slash calculators slash mortgages slash new house calculator dot ASPX. Number four, get mortgage approval. Shop for the best deal. Choose primary and backup lenders. Mortgage advice, you can go to hud.gov, hud.gov, buying slash booklet PDF. Number five, decide what we want in the home. A checklist of all the things you like, your wants and needs. Six, choose a realtor. Seven, visit the house, take photos, make notes. So it's like a shopping list. And it's also a way of you saying, hey, I checked this out. Now I have a note of what happened. I didn't like this or this about the place. Number eight, narrow down your choices to three. Your top three. Visit the neighborhood during days and nights to see the traffic and the noise area, noise around the area. Test the commute. Consider the resale value around that location that you're buying. And the next thing you want to do after you decide you narrow down your choices, you want to make an offer on your top one. Common contingency opt outs. If the home appraises for less than the mortgage, if inspection reveals flaws, owners won't fix. If you lose your job before the deal closes. You also want to be careful of as-is contracts because you get the house as it is. Um, also, some loan companies or banks will not give out loans to as-is depending on your situation. If you're you know, in the military, they won't do it. Uh, number 10, schedule a home inspection. Inspections are very important because it shows you things that you might not see with the naked eye, you know. It also shows, you know, things that you might not see, but inspectors might, you know, have multiple years of experience that can find certain things. So make sure you get a good inspector to inspect the house. And number 11, you want to make sure you have the final walkthrough. Make sure that everything you said in the contract is there. Test the light switches, sockets. Make sure they didn't poke any holes or there's no paint issues. Doors are working. Test the faucets, drains, and toilets. And then the final thing you want to do is you want to close in on the offer. And once you close the offer, you're ready to move in and live in your brand new house. Here's 12 tips for your final walkthrough when you're purchasing your house. And this is brought to you by Florida Realtors. So what factors affect home value? There are numerous or countless factors that can affect home value. Here's some, the neighborhood, its age, its condition, its size, any home improvements or upgrades. Uh, you know, if you're living near railroad tracks, the city, 
or a loud place nearby. There are other factors that can impact property value overall. These include the local housing market, economy, interest rates, tax rates. Believe it or not, other houses around the neighbor or the neighborhood or nearby homes that are similar can also affect the house's value. So if you live in the opposite side of town where people are not taking care of the houses compared to the people that are taking care of the houses on the other side of town, then your house, uh, your the value of your house will go up. But if you have a big house and everyone other house in the neighborhood is kind of small, it might bring the value of your house down, believe it or not. So let's say you wanted to buy a new house or you're a real estate investor and you don't know how to find the pr actual price of a house. So here's a method that you can use and it's free and many people don't know about it that can help you find a value of a house. So you, you want to go to your favorite browser and you want to search Geo map F F I E C and hit enter and then once you get to here you're gonna click on the first website and now find you know if you already know the address you can put the address in but if you don't know the address So we're going to go to Florida. Let's say you want to look around the Tampa area. So you just click here. Keep zooming in. So now that you found a house that you really like, and you want more information about this house, right? So let's copy this address right up here. Hit enter. And look at this. You can see all the information about that house, the income the population around there the housing so all this information is available for you for free and you could even print it and let's say you wanted to search a different place you didn't like that house right and let's look around and see if you can find another one so let's say you like this house copy the address again Hit enter and look at this. You type you click here. 2021 estimated tract medium family income right here. 2021 estimated MSA MD non MSA income track income upper more income population within this location. The housing, number of renters occupied inside of a principal city, vacant units, 239. So all this information can be helpful for you if you're trying to look to buy a house or if you're a real estate investor and you don't know about this, then I highly recommend you start using this because you know what they say about data and information and it's valuable if only if you can use it and you know about it. And all this is available for you for free.